Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you a few updates that I did to this tool that I called UI Team. It's basically going to be able now to create presets. You will be able to save your own presets and it's saved as a JSON. You can share it with people. Um, that should not be a problem. And I'm going to show you how it works. Let's create a new preset. Uh, to do that, we're going to make this viewer active and I'm going to load a few widgets. So I'm going to load maybe a few buttons and a few floats just to visualize what we are going to do. The first step is to create, to add a new preset. So you can click here and this is going to copy the previously selected uh, preset you had. So now this one, I'm going to call it new preset. And if I toggle between these two, you can see that there is no differences. And that's because we didn't make any changes yet. So let's do that. I'm going to add a specific background color that we can visualize what we are doing, something like this. And I'm also going to disable the background of the widgets. So you can see now that uh, our new preset starts to take shape and I can toggle to default and to the new preset again. And I can also maybe disable the ones I don't want and I can take the ones that I would like to see. So for example, if I would like to see a slider, horizontal, I can also toggle between them. And in this case, the load method is set as default. So I'm going to change it to preset. And if I load it again, you will see that it adapts to our preset. Once we have this background color, we could also change specific things from this preset. So if I click again here, I'm going to create a specific value for our preset. So in this case, I'm going to get maybe a darker blue and I'm going to copy this parameter. And if I come to the label, uh, basically I can come to the background color and paste a reference. And if I preview this change, now you will see that the label changed, but it doesn't have the color. And the reason for that is that our value is RGBA and our alpha is set to zero at, that, at this moment. So I'm going to put it to one. And if I preview it again, you will see that you get the specific color that you're looking for. And I'm going to do the same for the font. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to set it alpha to black and I'm going to paste a reference again here. So if I set it, we can see it. And what that allows you is to create a specific themes that can be changed quite fast. So if I would like to change the, this color, I can just come here now and get the specific one and preview it. And you can see that everything changes. And the advantage of that is that I can copy it to many other places. So for example, the numeric fields, which are these ones that I'm clicking right now, I could do the same. I could paste a reference here. And if I check the preview, we'll have the same effect. And the same would be for the color too. I can come to the font color and paste a reference. And if I check the preview now, you can see that everything starts to take shape. And you would do that uh, specifically for every single uh, tab of these widgets that the designer provides. If you would like to make an iteration of this new preset, what you could do is to add new. So basically, we would need to select uh, the one we want to copy from. So in this case, this would be the default values. So I would like to make an iteration of the, this new preset and I'm going to copy and this will be the, the preset two. So let's leave it at that name, just add a space here. And now I'm going to change the background color to something else. So maybe something like this and I will do the same for this one. So maybe a bit browner and the color, this one, I will set it to white. And I created a new variation of the previous. So if I toggle between them, I can have these specific presets to toggle between uh, what I need. And to save them is relatively easy. You just need to press this button that says save. And this will create a folder in your project uh, called UI theme, and that will store the preset there. If you make any changes, let's say that I want the font to be purple instead of this black, uh, you see that now it changes. So I would set to save it and you will need to override it. So you can choose that and you could delete and override it. And basically that stores the preset in a folder. To show that we stored this preset correctly, I would delete everything that we have now. 
and we could load it. So where it says the preset file, you can click this icon. And now I'm going to look for the new preset that I created and saved. And I'm going to open it. And once it's correct, you will say that the load preset button, it's uh, enabled. And you can click it. And after you click it, you see it now you load your preset. So that's a way you could store it in a JSON file and reuse it in different projects without the need of copying a specific tool. And then you can just get your... Uh, specific theme to everywhere you want. In this case, maybe I'm going to change back this uh, to black and I'm going to look at it again and I'm going to overwrite it. So now my preset is at this stage. So now that we know how to create a preset, save it and load it, what we can do is to apply it to specific containers of our project. So to refresh the memory, the way this worked is that we have specific containers that contain touch designer widgets. And if I go inside this container, you can see that here I have the specific widgets that the designer provides. And to refresh the memory, what you can, how you can access to them, you can open the palette. And here in basic widgets, we have a list of all the widgets that the designer provided. And basically here I could add maybe a rocker or I could add a momentary. And what this is going to do is that in this container, all these um, widgets are going to be laid down from top to bottom. And the way that we would apply our theme to this container, if I click into um, this tool, you will see that at settings, you have a target type um, that I created. There is two ways right now. There is a single target and there is a multiple target. The previous way is like this. So what you can do is to say, I want to change container eight. So you can drag it to the target comp and now it will be linked. So if we jump back into our tool, I can make it active and I can say, hey, I would like to now send this theme to the target comp and I'm going to do that. And if I go back, we will see that it does bring the values. You see that the background color of our preview was not um, sent. So there is an option actually that you can toggle. And now if you would toggle it, it will bring also the value of the background color. And the reason for that is that the background color acts in, within this parent container and it's not related to the widgets. And lastly, the last change I did is that now you can um, add this theme to a specific amount of containers and that's going to be done through tags. So I'm going to make this operator viewer. And how we're going to do that is that you select the target comp as operator find. And what it's going to do is that it's going to look for a tag on the containers. So in this case, I'm looking and listening for the tag UX. And if I apply that tag to a specific container, like let's say this one, and to do that, what you do is here, this tiny pencil, you click it and you can add the same tag. So you press UX and add tag. Now you see here that there's a three. And the reason for that is because there is three widgets within this container. And now you can send the theme to this specific container and of course you could do that for all of the others which will be bring the number to 11 which means that there is 11 widgets in total and that would allow us to change I'd send this theme to everything that we have and of course if we would like to go to default we can just change it and just to remind like all the references are not hard-coded so it's not specifically changing anything of the widget, it's just changing the values of the style. So you can see here that the values change, but nothing is really changing as a reference, which keeps everything really modular and really easy to work with. So that's it. You can download this tool for free in the description. You will find the link. Um, I created a few presets that you can purchase here the way you would uh, Load them is the same way that we did it with the preset we created. So you create this and you can paste them in the folder. And in this case, let's load this one, for example. And then I would press load. And you see that now the widget changed. And because I have the 
the set as a target. So basically, I'm using the tags. I can ch set and send all these uh, theme to all these widgets. So I hope you find this tool useful and let me know if there is something that doesn't work. But so far, so good. Okay, ciao, bye.